Okay, so I am just starting with some blank um, canvas board. This is 24 by 24. I got this at Michael's. Um, they literally always have a sale on canvas too. Um, so I tend to just buy a bunch and stock up for projects like this. Um, so I'm just going to open this up. Trusty hot glue gun um, getting warm here and then I have all of my little 3d butterflies right here so the room I'm putting them in is pink white and gold so I am gonna mix these three colors together I really wanted something um, 3d and kind of you know give some dimension some depth some color um, I bought these. They're like little 3D butterfly decorations. They come with stickers. Um, I'm going to use the hot glue gun for, you know, longevity. So when we start moving things, nothing falls off. But I just bought these little packs off Amazon and they have 24 pieces in each. So I bought a pack of gold, pink and white. I think they were like $6.99 a pack or something like that. And I love them because they're like a really nice sturdy plastic material so they have a little shine to it they come flat and then you just bend them kind of to whatever angle you like so I have not decided if I want to do like an ombre vibe if I want to just mitch match like I haven't really gotten that far what I do know though is that I want a super clean white border around it. So I am gonna take, if I can find it, it's over here. I'm gonna take artist tape. Um, you can find this at any art store, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, craft stores, wherever. Um, if you don't have artist tape, you may be able to use paint, but I like the artist tape because you can put it on canvas or paper and then pull it up and then you have super clean lines and it doesn't damage whatever surface. Um, so you can use like even regular paper with this and it won't tear the paper. So I am just gonna do, this one's pretty thick. I don't know how thick this is, but I'm gonna basically just line my edges so I can stay within that border and have a super clean um, white border to work with. So I'm actually, going to just go along the edge really I think the width of the tape is thick enough for what I want so now that we have tape let's see do we want to like ombre I just want to kind of be larger canvas than I originally planned on it or planned on I should say so I think I'm not gonna go in any sort of pattern I'm just gonna kind of sporadically place these all right I'm just gonna take some hot glue I'm gonna start with this pink one in the center so this material is pretty thin like plastic so it gets like hot so be careful when you're hot gluing but if you're anything like me <laughs> your hands can take it because I am the queen of gluing my fingers And 
then you can kind of play with the wings, like have them stick up a little more, have them spaced out. Um, it's really up to you. That's what I love about crafts. There are no rules, you know, do what you want, do what makes you happy. You can even layer some, which I think I might do that. And layer a little white one on top. Super cute. Okay, so this is what I have so far gonna be so cute super fun 3d I even started to layer and mix and match them so we can switch it up and I'm just gonna keep gluing keep finishing and then come back and show you wasted so much tape but okay. it is what it is Again, if you don't want to like spend the seven dollars for the little bags of these, you could always use like a really nice construction paper and you can like cut out whatever shape you want. You can do hearts, you could even do like flowers, um, and buy like little floral bouquets, like the little faux ones, and then pull them off and um, do the same thing. Sorry, I'm not in the frame too, it's been a long day, I look a hot mess. And really, it's not about me. <laughs> but here is my cute little 3D wall art. I'm so excited. So I'll show you guys when I hang this up tomorrow. It's going to go in the little girl's room that I just staged, but I love it. Super quick, super easy to make, and super three-dimensional and different.